Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. According to a statement from Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, the Norwegian government has unveiled plans to expedite the procurement of NASAMS, National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, air defense systems by pre-ordering critical components. This initiative comes with a proposed budget allocation of approximately 91.2 million euros to Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, underlining Norway's commitment to bolstering its military and civilian air defense infrastructure amid the current global security climate. Prime Minister Jonas Gar Storr stressed the urgency of this procurement, citing the ongoing conflict in Ukraine as a poignant reminder of the pivotal role air defense systems play in times of war. We must enhance Norway's air defense capabilities to better safeguard both civilian and military targets against airborne threats. The current security environment necessitates the swift procurement of advanced air defense systems, he remarked in a government press release. NASAMS, jointly developed by Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, KDA, and Raytheon, is designed to counter various aerial threats, including fixed-wing and rotary aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and cruise missiles, thereby protecting critical assets and population centers. Originating in Norway, NASAMS became operational in 1994 and has since been adopted by numerous countries worldwide. NASAMS boasts an effective radar range of 120 km and a missile range of 30 km. Kongsberg, in partnership with American defense contractor Raytheon, supplies the NASAMS system, currently operational in 13 countries. Ger Hoy, CEO of Kongsberg, welcomed the government's initiative, disclosing that the company has already invested nearly 3 billion NOC to expand its production capacity in air defense and missile systems. Defense Minister Bjorn Arild Graham addressed the challenges associated with extended delivery times in the defense industry. We've observed a rise in delivery times. To tackle this, we aim to procure critical components now to expedite future NASAMS acquisitions. This initiative is expected to reduce production lead times, Graham explained. The strategic decision to pre-order parts is expected to significantly shorten the wait for new launcher units upon the conclusion of new contracts. Eric Lai, CEO of Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, commented on the potential impact of the government's initiative, stating, this government initiative will enable us to hasten NASAM's deliveries once new contracts are finalized. It provides us with the opportunity to secure crucial components with lengthy lead times earlier than previously possible. The proposal for this fresh investment in the Norwegian Armed Forces has been presented to the Norwegian Parliament for political deliberation, representing a crucial milestone in Norway's endeavors to bolster its national defense capabilities in response to the evolving global security landscape. That's all for now. See you later.